to new beginnings. Not my beginning. His beginning. Focus RS, our new project RS for the channel. Um, not to be forgotten by our green fiesta in the background. That will come up in a couple weeks. But for right now, I know uh, we're excited. It's uh, a week old and it's... Starting it's, mods already. Yes, exactly. We're starting modifications, getting our hands already uh, wet with it. So, uh, enjoy. There we go. Right. Just got just a little loop. We, we haven't told you what we're doing. We are swapping out the short shifter into here or adding this guy, the short shifter mechanism. Swapping that out because nobody likes stock throw stuff. Nobody. This is the FS Works short shift plate. And I had this on my ST before. And I really like it because it has adjustability, so a lot of the kits have adjustability as well, but this has a 20, 30, and 40% reduction. The way that this has to work is it's got its groove slot, so it's going to fit in this triangle space, so we're relocating where this mechanism goes. What's nice is it just fits right over that, and then... You have to get the bottom piece on, which is a little trickier. Now we put it all back together. Watching a lot of videos, there's a lot of complaints about it, you know, being too stiff. 
granted, I'm still in my mid-20s. I'm not as old as most of those people making those videos. I enjoy it. it in the passenger seat, it doesn't make me uncomfortable. Um, I know in the driver's seat, there's a lot more tolerance because you're in control, but I don't feel like it's annoying over here. And I, I do kind of feel myself jiggling about, but I know I'm in a performance car, you know? It's not like I think I'm gonna be in a brand new Mercedes with air ride suspension and I shouldn't feel a single thing. No, I know we're in a performance car and you should be feeling, you know, the road and how it's handling and whatnot. Yeah, I would say, well, we're on a highway right now, so. This is true. It's, what I've noticed is that the, the sport, or the, the track setting for the, for the uh, shocks, uh, it eliminates some of that wash boarding effect that California freeways often have. Exhaust. We've been kind of saying, you know, it's an aftermarket exhaust, but we haven't said which one we went with, or Neil went with. Um, it's a Magnaflow exhaust, and he can tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, so I decided to go with the Magnaflow catback. Um, your standard three inch um, piping all the way through, a true three inch exhaust. The muffler is a single, in a briefcase style muffler that hangs in the back in the stock location. I really like, as Peter can attest, the, the lower, kind of more subtle side. I'm not about the higher pitched rasp that, that these EcoBoost engines can can produce with the uh, integrated exhaust manifold that's in the head. I, that's just my personal preference. I, I just like the low heat. It actually, and what I've read from other review videos when I was deciding was that it makes this engine almost sound like a boxer engine.
or um, the fact that I had installed it incorrectly. It was everything was on correctly. It was just a matter of the exhaust being crooked, just manufactured crookedly, not slightly. So it took some doing. Um, I had to heat up one of the hangers with a blowtorch to, to bend it. And when he says crooked too, it's one was sticking out significantly more yes. than the other. Um, being flush with the bumper instead of yeah. them being equal, they were staggered yeah. quite significantly. Yeah, it was kind of like this. If you're looking at it from the rear of the car, um, the right tip was sticking out about two or three inches more you know, past the, the, end, the edge of the bumper, whereas the left tip was kind of holding the set back. So that was annoying, but after some, some serious pulling and prodding, we got it straightened out. It's probably 95% where it should be. So another thing about the exhaust, compared to at least the stock, the pops um, that occur during sports and track mode kind of sound like just higher pitch, just clicks, like clack, clicks and clacks, I guess probably words for it. Whereas having the Magnaflow sounds like a pop. There's a there's a, a deep a deepness to the pops as well that doesn't occur with a stock exhaust. Um, another thing about the Magnaflow, which is great, is that it does utilize the factory valve that's in the back. Um, you kind of need that unless you have a way of kind of tricking the sensor. Um, if you don't have the valve plugged in, in with the stock programming, the different driving modes will not 